So welcome back to the campaign. For anyone new, I play games for the storytelling and challenge, which generally means taking my time, trying to stay thematic, and avoiding exploits. If you prefer min-maxing or speeding through content, then my stuff may not be for you, although you're welcome to join us for a while to find out. In Total War Warhammer, that means using some mods to make the campaign and battles slower and harder to try to fit the brutal world of Warhammer, and also fighting all but the most lopsided battles manually. There's a link in the description to the video where I go over all the mods we're using and why, and another one to the Steam collection where you can subscribe to all these mods with a single button press. For this campaign, we're playing as Thorek Ironbrow, who has resolved to reforge all the missing artifacts from the broken pieces scattered around the map, and of course conquering territory and crushing the enemies of the dwarves in the process. Okay, so we had one of the more interesting interns of the campaign happen at the tail end of the last episode. Namely, this battle of Springs of Eternal Life, which we did, of course, win because, you know, it was never in any doubt whatsoever. And the good news coming out of that is, of course, we've moved on in and conquered the, the settlement. Got ourselves some dwarf beer, so dwarf beer, so that's always good. We got ourselves a siege workshop, which we are of course going to destroy because this is not the right location for that to be built. And we got ourselves a source of marble, which is excellent. And one more piece of good news is that Tecton himself is now immortal. So let's go ahead and give him his level before we start talking about the bad news. And the bad news is it's not all that bad. It's just a consideration moving forward. Okay, what do we want to do with him? I've already given him Axe Lord. I've already given him enough of this line. I think we could go ahead and start giving him maybe some of these things up here. Leadership is not bad, although we don't really struggle for leadership. We're not really fighting Skaven or subterranean battles right now. Obstinacy is probably not a bad choice, and Brass Lunged is probably not a bad choice. Let's go with Obstinacy, because leadership is really not that much of an issue right now. So, getting to the relatively bad news. That is, we are so badly beaten up that this army is essentially defunct now for... A very long time with the amount of replenishment that we get which is pitiful because keep in mind we're using a mod that reduces replenishment by 50% specifically for situations like this when we fight a really really heavily um, let's let's just call it a brutal heavy casualty battle we want to actually feel the effects of it we don't want to be recovered in a turn or two that just doesn't make all that much sense so, yes, we are definitely feeling the effects of that battle, this army. This army. We've got a couple choices here. We could start to consolidate these units, uh, merging them together. I'm a little bit loath to do that. Dwarf units are expensive, and they will replenish over time. And maybe the main role that we want them to function right now anyway is just to defend while we get this city up to speed. Now, we don't see any more enemy armies, which is good. So this doesn't seem to be imminently threatened. But in a pinch, we've got two armies here which could race towards one another to support one another if either one of them needs to. However, they're both so badly beaten up that uh yeah it's uh it's going to be no no offensives in our uh immediate future that's for sure i hope that doesn't make this a boring episode i don't think it will but it is what it is you know we got to recover we got to lick our wounds a little bit so let's go ahead and get through our event messages here we got a population surplus down here which is always a good thing we have nine thousand. Oh, that's right we got that mission successful that's always a good thing Got the Banner of Lost Holds. Yeah, that's that's fine. Got the Fiery Ring of Thori. Why not? Okay, so here we go. Yeah, we're already at four, so we need we just need 15 more turns, and then we'll be at five, and then we can probably get rid of the growth buildings entirely here. Replace them with something else. 
We're doing okay. Public order's not getting any better, but it's not getting any worse. We have the defenses built there, so that's probably all of the priorities taken care of. We got our Pyrrhic victory. We got our dwarf beer. Settlement occupied. This was good. I'm uh, reminded now of how annoying the agent situation has been in this campaign, but it's okay. It's all right. And, uh, oh, and also... Oh, Tecton gained two levels. That's why there's two messages there. I thought for a second I had two different lords that were, or two different characters that were immortal. Okay, so we have this province. We're going to leave it on growth. There is nothing we can do to make the replenishment improve other than to get the... Does replenishment improve if we increase the public order? No, it does not. So really, it's just the growth buildings that provide the replenishment. We've got, we've got two of these in here already. Wait a minute. Now I'm looking at the wrong. Oh, yeah, of course. Duh. All right. So might help if I looked at the right province. Yeah, we don't own this whole province. And we it would be nice to have growth here, but it's going to be a few turns before we can. Although once we can. Mm, excuse me. Once we can, we are going to get this resource building. That'll be nice. Casual re casualty replenishment of 5%. That's nothing to sneeze at. This, obviously, we do want to destroy. We'll replace this with a growth building, and that will slowly help the, uh, the replenishment. New Moss up here. Our garrison in New Moss is looking okay. It's got a little while yet to recover to full strength, but uh, Springs of Eternal Life, we just took it, so it's going to be quite some time before it can get up to more strength. We do have uh, Quatar over here, which is a possibility of an attack. Uh, I mean, that we could want to attack it. It seems like it would be a good target for us. But neither army can really afford to attack a 19-unit settlement right now, so it's really not a priority. And then I just want to take a look here at our Enemy, so we're, we've been knocked all the way down to relative strength of 87. So we look very vulnerable right now, which is a concern, but there's options that we can do to to deal with that. I don't love this. I don't love that Kimri still looks so much stronger than us. That's, uh, that's a little bit troubling. Okay, so um, we do have, of course, our Thane here. He's super strong. Unless he's got a really good chance to succeed here, 63%. Hmm. 63% is not bad, but we may want to move him back into the army because he'll that army will be strengthened just by having him in it. Tecton as well. Um we could do a little bit of global recruiting. So I'm I'm a little a little bit troubled by having this landmark down here. I actually, actually meant to look this up online, but we've got this uh we've got this landmark. I see no effect on our global recruiting even though the landmark specifically says Recruitment duration, minus one turn for all units. It must not mean in global. It must just mean in regular. So if we look here, the only thing we can recruit is the miners. That's only ever one unit anyway. Up here, are there any units that norm that we can build that normally take two turns? I don't think so. I don't think any of these are two turn. So it must just mean not global recruitment, which is unfortunate because that's pretty much the the one type of recruitment that we most need right now but i think what we'll do we we can't we can't stay as weakened as we are and we have plenty of money so let's go ahead and get that would make six and then his front line we'll give him one of those that's good enough for now You can... What did I want to save room for? I, I need room for the runesmith and... Oh, and I've got an engineer, of course. I do not want to forget this guy. 
Okay, so let's get him down there. We'll actually be running him close to Qatar on his way down there to join that army. So that's nice. We can now see what's going on here. There's a brand new army there. It's just the Lord, and it's a brand new level one Lord. So nothing to worry about just yet. Okay, so when we get the engineer and this thing back into this army that'll put us at 19 so we do still have room for one more i think i lost a quarreler if i'm not mistaken so it's more expensive to do it globally but i'm going to go ahead and do it anyway because i don't want to run this army all the way back over here and while i'm at it Let's go ahead and do some global recruiting with you as well. You're going to want to stay inside the settlement for the extra casualty replenishment for a couple turns anyway. So, six and five. We'll give you another. Does the, uh, does the landmark down here, what exactly does it do for us? It affects our recruitment costs, but only in this province. And it affects our upkeep and our recruit rank and ev everywhere so that's good okay so we can go ahead and actually recruit a couple more long beards because why not and that's going to get us up to one two three four five six seven i'm going to ditch this warrior unit and make it another quarreler so we're going to have seven quarrelers and six front line plus teched in himself that's fine i'm okay with that all righty now um we spent most of our money here so there's not going to be a whole lot else we can do we're de uh, demolishing there we could do something here okay however things here are not really a priority are they so uh so lamia we've already got We've already got this up to rank two. Let's go ahead and do... Do we want public... No, we've got public order already there. We want defenses. That's that's what we want to save room for in these settlements, but it's not a priority. So I'm actually going to go ahead. I think this would be an extra 50 per turn. This is an extra 100 per turn. No, 200 per turn. No, 100 per turn. Of course, modified by all the things, including the unpleasant climate, but I think that's still the best uh, use of our money right now. We still have a pretty strong-looking economy, which I'm happy with. We've kind of accomplished everything up to this point with a relatively weak set of units in our armies. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and... I think I can't afford it now. Nope, I can't afford it now. I'm going to go ahead and move him back in. in the shield wall. Kind of uh, tucking my tail between my legs, I guess, when it comes to these agents. What level is that guy? He's only level 10, but he's already caused us much misery and lots of money. Okay, all right. So, finally, we are... We're ready for the diplomacy stage of the turn. You require assistance? I'm kind of hoping that nobody away. tries to take advantage of us for a turn or two while we look so weakened. But the main threat, obviously, is is Kemri. If Cetra, who was... what? Yes, we got to remember, Cetra is also fighting down here against uh, Krokgar, so that's a good thing. Okay, all right. I think we'll be okay. If we had to abandon a settlement, obviously we'd abandon Springs of Eternal Life because it's just a regular old settlement. Not even a good climate for us, although I'd hate to give up the marble. And we do want to get that marble because I do I then want to take a look at what that's going to get us in the forge. So let's go ahead and end our turn. And we're back to the uh, crossing of fingers for the end turns. But that's temporary. Okay, Krokgar, oh yeah, why don't you go down and threaten Cetra? You really don't like to move very far, do you? Now, I know that we've reduced AI 
movement on the campaign map as well as our own, but even so, it sure seems like Krotgar is moving at a snail's pace. Okay. Success! He damaged a building. That's fine, whatever. Okay, that's not good. That is definitely not good, and that is also definitely not good. That's, that's exactly what we were most concerned about. Cetra's going all out against us, which is more what I'm used to with the anti-player bias. We'll have to take a look at how strong his armies are. So, trait gained, okay, that's fine. Units recruited. Yes, yes. Damage building. There's only... Yeah, whatever. Whatevs, okay, so demolition complete. I'm glad we went ahead and did that because uh, we're probably going to have to abandon this settlement entirely. Which is unfortunate, but... Yeah, this casket of souls and the Ishabti, we're just not in good shape. Can't really see what else he's got in there, but... Boy, I hate to lose the, the recruiting on the Longbeards, but we're just not... We're not in good shape to defend up there. And Cetra himself... Well, the good news... Is that I don't see a casket of souls... The bad news is, yeah, he's got a Kimrian War Sphinx. He's got some pretty good Necropolis Knights and some Ushabti. Now, this is where we want to make our stand. We do have a halfway depleted, but not as badly as Springs of Eternal Life depleted garrison up here. I'm going to continue doing that. I'm a little bit tempted to consolidate some of these. In fact, I'm going to consolidate two of these dwarf warriors. If you want something done right. I really kind of hate to consolidate the uh, the quarrelers. They're, I mean, you hate to give up units that are unit rank 9. Ugh. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, now he... He can reach there to reinforce, but he can't reach to attack. So I think we're okay... One rug. If we... We're gonna have to do this. We're gonna have to commit to abandoning the springs of eternal life. We're gonna get down here to where it's gonna be... Within reinforcement range. Cetra may try to lay siege, but I don't think he will if we have both armies plus the garrison there. Maybe he will. I mean, those, those skeleton archer chariots are not that great, are they? I don't think they are. Cetra's level 22. We're level 28. And we got a level 23... Thane and a level 20 Lord. Let me just make sure I have to use. Yeah, it looks like has to be March Stance. Okay. All right, we're coming down here. We're going to consolidate a little bit. We might as well, now that we're at 18 here, we might as well recruit anything we can. You know what we could do? Yeah, boy, we could... Oh, look at this. We could buy our absolutely worthless yoked Carnosaur. He is anti-large. He is anti-large. Okay. How do we want to do this exactly? Let's just take a look here at our... Our other provinces here, so I should have actually probably just, like, you know what, I wonder if I could give Springs of Eternal Life to Krokgar. Hey, Krokgar, how would you like this settlement? Uh, trade settlement? I cannot give him interest. Oh, I guess he, he has to have a border with it, doesn't he? 
and he doesn't. Okay. That's probably just as well. I would have felt pretty guilty. That doesn't really seem like a Thorek kind of a thing to do to to a cheat Krokgar like that. Okay, so nothing to do here. I do have that other army up there, but he's so far away that I don't see any way for him to get down in time to help anyway. Meanwhile, we're still going to keep moving you down. Glum get gold. I guess that's a verb and an object. Okay. So... Alright, back to this. We're going to give you... Yeah, we got lots of choices here with, uh, with our regiments of renown. Okay, so we're going to give, first of all, we're going to give Thorek, oops, not that, this. Okay, we're going to give him the Warriors of Dragonfire Pass. And what are these Slayers? These Dragonback Slayers, what's special for them? Anti-large, death blow, whirling axes, and that differs from these guys. How? Not at all. So they must have something better about them. They they have better melee attack and defense. And they have okay, some unique ability here. They have Everybody's got death blow. They've got physical resistance, of course. They've got power of the dragon back. Here we go. Okay, so they're they have flame resistance. Okay, not really, not really all that big of a deal, as far as I am aware. I don't think I don't think there's anything here that does fire damage. Maybe some spells. I don't really know the Tomb King's line of spells all that well, but. Not really a high priority to take them. So, what? I keep clicking the wrong thing there. Let's go ahead and do this. We want the war, the Warriors of Dragonfire Pass, and we want how about we we, we want we want some we want some giant slayers. They'll be good against the. Uh, against the chariots boom okay all right so now that's been done don't think i'm going to recruit anything at this point into for the wisdom of Valea. well he can race down yeah i'm going to go ahead and recruit Summoning something into him, him as well so let's go ahead and give tect in here um We'll give you these uh, these long beards. You do improve them a little bit. And let's give you the Skolder Guard. These Iron Drakes are pretty are pretty strong. Okay, we're going to try that. We're going to try that. We burned through a lot of money there. But if he sends all this, one cask of the souls is really the, the concern there. Did I give him any Slayers at all? I did not. I want to give him a unit of Slayers as well. But we'll just give him regular Slayers. There we go. Now we're now we're looking a lot better. If he sends both of these armies at us, I feel a lot better about our chances. Not to mention this is a walled city, so I don't think he would even dare attack it right away. I'm sure that Kimrian War Sphinx is a siege attacker. It is. Okay. So he could, but we'll see. We'll, we'll win that, I think, if, if he attacks. If he uh, lays siege and brings this other army down but doesn't attack, then we're going to have to decide what to do because, uh, yeah, we got... We got uh, Tekton looking awfully vulnerable out there right now. Okay. So we do still have a little bit of money. Nothing to do here. We're going to abandon this, so let's just go ahead and demolish... Um, just in the off chance that he doesn't take it. Actually, you know what I can do is I can abandon the whole settlement. That's 900 versus how much am I getting here? 
1200. Yeah, I'm going to demolish. Okay. All right. Um, Garrison Lord not moved. I don't still feel threatened up here, which is good. We can't really afford to be fighting. Yeah, I'll go ahead. And, why not? Uh, we can't really afford to be fighting a two-front war right now. I am a little disconcerted that Cetra has gone all in against us, but I'm not surprised. Being disconcerted and surprised are not mutually exclusive. Okay, so we're going to save our money. Outpost available. We're going to hope that Krokgar, you know what, Krokgar, you should be able to actually, you know, do something now so that they've abandoned this. It would be very nice of you to, to do something down there. Okay. I have a feeling he won't, but, you know, it is what it is. All right. Uh, diplomacy, then. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, we don't want that. Got nothing else to do. Let's go ahead and end the turn and see what happens here. Now we're really crossing our fingers. I hate to give up Kasabar, but... Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Any chance? Nope. Nope. No, you wouldn't want to do anything aggressive there, would you, Krokgar? Wouldn't want to take advantage of the fact that he's abandoned the settlement and left it to you. Not that I'm bitter. Okay, he's going to lay siege. And he's going to bring that guy down. Okay. Is he going to attack? He is going to attack. We got a valiant defeat here. Interesting. Okay, so... So we do have... We got vulnerabilities here. This is going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. Well, let's get in there. Let's get in there and see what we can do. Be really kind of interesting to see what Tecton, if anything, Tecton's able to do. Okay, let's fight it. So the first question is, do we fight at the walls? I think the first thing we want to target is that Kimrian War Sphinx. So let's let's locate that. Okay. We got Cetra over here. And the Kimrian War Sphinx with them. Well that makes it convenient. This is unfortunately where we don't have towers. We do have towers here. They'll be able to hit a little something, but not for very long. So that's extremely unfortunate, but it's... You know what? That's the luck of the draw. Sometimes... Sometimes uh, you eat the bar, and sometimes the bar, well, he eats you. Okay. Let's go ahead and maybe maybe hope that our grudge throwers will actually fire in this battle, although I don't have high expectations of that. We do have uh, the option to send Thorek out of the walls to bog them down. I'll tell you what, let's, let's do this first. Let's take a look at his other army. This is his secondary army. This is where the Ashabti is, and then, of course, this is where his second army is coming. This is where the Casket of Souls is going to be, so that's, that's annoying. But let's get some units here first. Well, actually, you know what? Before I do anything else, let's, let's find our towers. Let's find our... This is our, this is our must-defend area right here. We've got one entrance right here. I'm going to take... Put you there. 
That's one entrance. This is two entrances. Is that? No, there's there's an entrance right here. We're going to put uh, you here. There's going to be one over here. Okay. Those are the four entrances. The four and only entrances to this. Okay. Now, we can put barricades here. We could put a tower here, but that tower is unfortunately tied to that. This is going to be extremely frustrating, isn't it? We have one tower tied to this control point. It's this one right here, which is good. That's a good one. I think what we're going to do... I think what we're going to do is we are going to... We're going to put units on the towers initially and then pull them back. I don't think there's a reason to fight on the walls here since we don't have our towers providing any real value there. So let's get a Slayer unit here because you're fast. Let's get it's going to take them a while to get here. What do we have? We have... Eh. Eh. Cannons, probably. Cannons and explosives. Their units are how heavily armored? Most of them are... Pretty decently armored. Okay, yeah, and some of them have shields, unfortunately. Over here, I think these guys, these Nehikara warriors here. Oh no, these are the Kepra Guard. Interesting. They do not have shields, at least, and their armor is not quite as high. The Tomb Guard, they have shields, of course. Tomb Guard with halberds. And the archers don't have shields and they have low armor. Okay, all right, so. All right, wow. Maybe we do fight at these walls right here. They don't have... They don't have a siege attacker over here, do they? They do not have a siege attacker over here. Okay, let's get all of... You, you guys right here. We now have these towers. We now have... We can fire on them. If they start climbing the walls, we will pull back. So you guys are my number eight here. And if they do start climbing the walls, let's give a couple of... Let's see, what would we want to... What would we want to defend this with? Let's go ahead and, and have our Warriors of Dragonfire Pass put a give a heroic defense over here. Because they will hold out for a very long time. And meanwhile, this will be the first tower that we build. So this is um, 50 armor piercing. Or no, 50, yeah, yes, 50 armor piercing and 100 base. I don't know whether I don't know what the range of these of these firing towers are though that's that's an issue. Okay, well we're going to try it. Um I think we'll go ahead and give we want the armor piercing, do we want the cannon? The cannon means waiting for 1400. Now we're going to go ahead and build this. Boom. So this this tower We'll check out its range. I think it'll be able to hit units on the walls here, hopefully. And so you, you're a part of, of group eight as well. And then that's, I think, all we want to do on this side. Then we will defend here and here. 
So we've got you here. We've got you here. We'll figure out exactly how we're going to defend as we bring more units in that way. Down here, we have nothing attacking from this side. Um, I don't know whether I'll eventually build a tower there or not, but... Okay, so we got Slayers up here. Is there any... We do have a couple more Slayer units that are relatively fast. Is there any value in... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be completely crazy here. Not quite all of you. But... Let's get let's get all of you above 30 over here. There you go. You can pretty much you can open fire until they get close. And then you're going to have to run back. And then we're going to put these slayers have got these towers right here. Actually, you know what? There's no reason not to. Let's go ahead and get these guys here as well. They'll probably be able to fire at something. And now, all of you are my number seven. And everything, and you are going to be I'll have to try to remember to move you as well. Okay. All right. Everything else then is going to go into the defense back here. So we're going to eventually want which of these? We've got missile resistance. Nah. Indestructible. Nah. Maybe. N none of these are great, are they? I'm not. Uh, maybe I just don't know how to use them right, but I just don't... I'm not real good with uh, barricades. I was kind of hoping that something would be able to provide a better buff than this. This does at least reduce melee attacks, so that's probably what we'll end up doing. It's 400 for that, so we're going to want to have our Thane here, along with... Let's get you guys right here. Let's see how close I can move you there. Right there. Okay, that's good enough. What's the range of that buff, I wonder? Effect range 32 meters. I'll have to find out if that's close enough for them. Okay. All right. And then um, we, we do need somebody. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized. No, yeah, there's six ways in. There's not four ways in. There's six ways in. Okay, yeah, that's... It almost might make more sense to actually defend... Ugh, yeah, this is this is a mess. Okay, this is going to be tougher than I had hoped. Tougher than I had hoped, but it is what it is. Our, this tower down here is so far away, it's not even going to be able to hit things that come along that way, so that's a problem. Although... We then, how do the new rules work? Do they have to take this point in order to win? Or can they win just by taking that one point right there? Well, if we end up having to run everybody back to this last point, because it looks like we're likely to lose this one, then we'll find out. Okay, so Thorek, let's go ahead and get Thorek up here, but we're going to bring him running running back as well you let's get you up here you'd be good for here hello there we go you are going to be going after that Kimrian war sphinx that's who I, I want you fighting that Kimrian war sphinx as soon as it comes in so that'll be good, and then that means that we'll also have... I'm going to keep one of the Slayers back here. We'll figure out what to do with him later. You guys are really fairly... You're, we, we want defense in this battle. We don't really want... 
great. Well, no, we can figure out a use for him. Never, never mind. Never mind. Okay, so we need you to be... Boy, I apologize how long this has taken, but you can probably understand why this is a really important setup that we're doing here. Okay, you can stay there for now, but we're going to end up having to rearrange based on where it appears that they're attacking us from. You guys go ahead and get you... Um, we got that. We got right here that we need to defend. Got Slayers there. You guys, what did I do with you? Let's get you over here to help out over here. Okay, we got some miners. That'll, yeah, they'll, they'll help a lot. Let's go ahead and get all of our miners here. Those three miners are less valuable than one dwarf warrior unit, probably, but... Okay. Thorek, I, uh, I think we want you to be using your Rune of Wrath and Ruin until it looks untenable here, and then you'll probably have to back up. And, uh... I wonder... It might make more sense to put the Iron Breakers up here. I'm going to do that. I'm going to move I'm going to move you guys to here. I'm going to put the iron breakers there. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. So you you're good. 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 We don't have enough units obviously to to block every passage. I'm now wondering whether it, it's not it doesn't make more sense to fight at the walls after all. Six ways in. Six ways in and they don't have... They don't have siege attackers. What would... What would we... Excuse me. What would we need to hold them off up here? There's, there's too much. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to completely scrap my original plans, and we're going to defend at the walls. Okay. Let's get you guys now up here on the walls, behind the, behind the ranged units. And... You as well. Oh boy, okay. Let's get you over here. Alright. Hopefully that's enough right there to defend against all of that. Thoric himself is over there. You guys now, the Thane. You guys get up here. You know what I want to do is I want to get... Uh, I want to get Thoric up on the wall. Let's get him up, uh, up. Oh, he can't go on the wall, can he? Thorek, my, my boy. I'm sorry, you can't get up there. Okay, well, event they'll get through the gate eventually, I'm sure, so that's... That's fine. You guys... You know what? Let's put you over here so that we've got these towers ready to fire when those troops come in. Now, who do I have available still here? Let's get you up there with them. Actually, wait a minute. Who's, who's with you here? You. You guys get over here with them. On this side. Now. Is everybody in a position where we want them? Everybody's more or less at the walls. Right? Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Spread pretty thin. Okay, no. Here we go. We got you guys. You guys get up here behind 
behind them. You can actually... You can hold that point in case they get through somehow that I don't expect. Okay, I think we are now ready to go. Let's start the battle, see what happens here. So our towers are firing over here. Let's get over here to Thorek. These towers can fire. The Corlers are firing. And where's our... Okay, our Iron Breakers here should be able to start throwing down some... some explosions here in a moment. So that's good. That does some damage there. Now, do we want to send these Slayers... Oh, wait a minute, Thorak. Yes, we want to do this. Some damage there. Do we want to send the Slayers out against that Kimrian War Sphinx and those snakes, or do we want to wait for them to come in? That's the question. Okay, so I got to keep bouncing back and forth here between these two sides. They're at the walls here. Okay, we're going to have to get... You guys are eight. We're going to have to get you back to here for now. And we're going to have to get you guys here on the walls. They have sent nobody at the... No, they did. They sent the Ashabti there at the, to the gates. Okay. You guys now are doing no good over there, so you come over this way. And you guys come over this way. You guys get in here. You guys over here. Let's go ahead and get you guys firing as they come through the gate. You guys as well. Taking way too long over here on this side, but it's got to be done. Okay, now back over to Thorak. How we doing over here? Are the art skeleton archers are climbing up? That's interesting. Okay, let's go ahead and get you back. Let's get you back. You guys back. You guys are firing. That's fine. You guys. These towers are actually still worth keeping. Okay, we got some of the snakes breaking down there. We got. Uh, do we have a fight going on up here yet? We do, that's Tomb Guard. So, Thorek, we want you to go ahead and... Why don't you buff the armor of these guys here? Alright, um, back over to... Oh, yeah, forgot about these. you guys, yeah, you guys. Boy, I completely forgot about them. Okay. get you in over here I suppose are you even firing you are that's good that's good I suppose okay so up here we got did we for some reason you guys decided to climb down the wall I have no idea why and you guys as well you this is terrible. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on, AI. Pathfinding. You can do better than that, I'm sure. Okay, all of you. Let's go ahead and get you. Who did I accidentally select? I accidentally selected you. Okay, how are we doing here? Are we fighting? Okay, we want you out. We want you to get in. Well, the tower's still firing, so you you can actually... You can come over this way, and you guys now... You 
get over here to where you've, you're manning the tower. Actually, you don't all have to. You can stay right there. You go ahead and move up here for fighting them. You go ahead and just keep fighting them. Okay, Thorak. What do we got going on here with Thorak? Let's go ahead and do this. Boom. I think we're winning just fine over here. So it's time to get back over here where the real danger is. Okay. Oops, I shouldn't have abandoned those towers right there. Uh, that's, that's a mistake. That's a mistake, but how are we doing other than that? Let's go ahead and get all of you guys moved over to here. Let's go ahead and get... Do we have a tower anywhere around here to build? There's one right here. Let's go ahead and build a... Uh, that guy right there. How are we doing here? They're still not through the gate here. Oh, they're, it's going to take them a heck of a long time to get through that gate. That's good. Okay. We need to fight these guys off the walls if possible. Can you get up there? You can. We definitely want that to happen. Okay, the miners. Let's go ahead and get you guys right up here so you can fight these archers as they come up. You guys back over this way. Okay, how are we doing here on Thorak? I want to put you back on one. Okay, where's the Kimrian War Sphinx? Is he in here attacking? He is. The gate is just about down, just in, t in the nick of time here to bring in... Okay, Thorak, you're on Cetra. The Slayer's here. Okay, you guys are... You're doing fine over there. Methane. Yeah, you're okay. All right, so back back over here. These Slayers help out on the Kimrian War Sphinx. These Slayers help out on the Kimrian War Sphinx. You guys help out on them, I guess. You guys can help shoot right here. You Oh, oh, Shabti, that's, that's a problem. You guys, all of you shoot the Ushabti. Shoot the Ushabti. Um, I had a Slayer unit over here. Yeah, you get on the Ushabti. Okay, you guys, what are you doing outside there, Tekton? Taking the long way around, okay? Let's get Tekton on... Cetra as well. Looks like we're going to be taking out Cetra, so that's a good thing. We want you guys now here. You can fire on those who shop tea as well. You guys... Okay, at least at least it looks like we're taking out the shop tea. What about the Kimrian War Sphinx? That's, that's in bad shape. Okay, so that's good. You guys come... Okay, you know what? We need to start getting you guys moved over this direction. You actually fired your ammo. I'm very proud of you. Let's get you into the middle. Now, fighting over here. You guys are going to lose this battle for sure. Might as well buy some time. You guys... We need some... We need a front line there to help them defend. Oh, the... Wow, the Casket of Souls. Forgot about that. You know what? This may not be the best place to be defending. Alright, how are we looking down here? Let's start to get our units backing up, I suppose. How are we doing here? Fighting new Shabti. Is this our Thane? It is our Thane. You can come down and join him. You can actually just just shoot at them. I think you might be able to do some damage there. Oh no, wait a minute. I need you shooting over in this direction. You know what? We got we got too many units over there to deal with. Okay. How are we looking here? You guys 
Are they climbing the walls? They're trying to, but they're actually... They're not doing a great job of it. So I'm liking that. This is really the area that we're losing really badly. Okay, let's get back to... Uh, to Thorak up here. How are we looking up here? Have we won the fight up here? We have. Okay, everybody... Everybody over here... It's a dance party over here. Okay. Is that... Is that everyone on this side? It is. Okay, so now back to eight. You guys right here. How's our Thane doing here? Okay, you can go ahead and... The Shabti are actually still doing... Holding up against us pretty well. Okay, we, we, we want to pull you guys, I think. We want to get you guys over here, I guess. All of you guys that can, I think we want you to all pull back here. Yeah, plus that casket of souls is going to keep hitting us up there. Okay. How is, uh... These Slayers, they're still alive. They... They did their job. I'm quite happy with that. Let's go ahead and get, uh... The Thane, he can't move any faster. Can Thorak... Thorak cannot move any faster either. However, actually, yes you can. You can do an entire... You can get everybody here moving faster. Oops, that was a mistake. Scratch that. Didn't realize that you were this far up, Thorek. Cancel. Cancel. Come on. Everybody here. Go faster. Okay. All of you guys get heading up this way, please. How are we doing here? You're not all going to make it, I know, but where's our Thane? Our Thane can probably... Hold a lot of them off on his own. We want you guys to get back. Okay, alright, so they're about ready to take this. That's unfortunate. Do we have... We do have this tower. Which is hopefully firing at them. These guys are running, so there's clearly nothing to be done about any of that. It is what it is. Okay, who's rallying? Is it you? Yeah. Just keep running away. You're not any... You're not doing anybody any good right now. Oh, you never mind. You already broke again, so that's, that's fine. Let's go ahead and get all of our newer units. Coming in. You guys, are you... Yes, you are, okay. Alright, I still think we're gonna win. This is really a, uh... Got. Look at this, we got 6,000. Let's build barricades everywhere. Which one is the indestructible... How about, uh... How about the traps? Yeah, let's just build the traps. You guys, come on. Come on, I need you... I need you moving. Mr. Thane. Okay. Uh, this tower over here. Where are you? Let's go ahead and build you. Let's get, uh... uh let's get a, uh, uh... There's no really nothing... Nothing of value right there. Okay, how are we doing here with our Thane? Th did we just sacrifice our Thane? I hope not. No, he's actually... He's doing okay. They're about ready... Oh, we lost these Dwarf Warriors. Let's see if they can get out. Okay, who just broke? You, you just broke. However, here we go. Now the reinforcements are here. Yay. 
four corallers left. Perfect. Just just the way we like it. All right, so we're going to hold a bunch of them off right here. Thorek. Actually, let's get the let's get the regiment of renown and Thorek up here. They'll do fine. Thorek, go ahead and charge in. You know what? You guys charge in as well. Let's get one unit of Corlers over here in support. Are any of you guys in good enough shape to be defending? Not really. Okay. You guys... I'm afraid it's a little bit of a lost cause to try to get you out of there now, but... May as well have you... Try to help out here. Thorek... Causing fear. I don't know if that would help against. Don't know if those guys are vulnerable to fear or not. However, I feel like Thorak will be able to hold this this area right here by himself. Particularly if we also have these guys. Let's go ahead and give uh, all of us a little bit of a buff. These guys have got to be crumbling, right? They're at 45. Yeah, okay. All right. Um, how are we doing down here? Thane. Oh, yeah. These warriors look like they might get away after all. Let's get them up here. And we got all you guys are in much better shape now. So we're getting all you up here. We have no enemies back here to worry about. You are... You guys are awfully slow, aren't you? Get L, 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 uh, 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 nope. You know what, guys? Right here. Right here. You guys. Okay, the, these guys are all number sevens here. Let's get the sevens right here behind these guys. All right. And you, Tecton, yeah, you're you're good. You get in there as well. Okay. Our th Wait a minute. Who did I just sit? Yeah, okay. All right. That's what I meant. All right. How are we doing here? We're doing okay here. We're going to lose these warriors down here. How are we doing here with uh, Thorak? Doing okay. He's, yeah, we really are doing okay right there with them, aren't we? Okay, let's get you guys. Kind of reorganized a little bit, I suppose. You guys, I really kind of wanted you to try to get up that way. Where's our thing? Let's get you over here. Yeah, we've lost quite a few units, but some of them are garrison at least. Okay, who's not fighting? You guys... I think I want to turn off the fire at will with him. Okay, we got Slayers here. Boy. We're in great shape. I'm sure this, this group right here is doing just fine. Let's get the Slayers over this way. You guys, how much ammo do you have left? I just realized I'm up over an hour now on this episode. I guess that's not really surprising. Okay. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Um, Thorek. You're doing fine. Let's go ahead and drop another explosion. Let's just wait for those guys to get close enough to be a part of it. Good enough, okay. The Thane, how are you guys doing down here? I haven't been able to really zoom in at all. Okay, you guys... You guys as well, at this point. 
I don't think you're really needed in this direction. Let's get you guys back here. Okay, yeah, this is gonna be quite a battle, quite a battle. You're, I don't think you'll get there in time. Okay, our Thane back to this. Enemy gates are destroyed. What enemy gates? Okay, come on, you guys. You should be able to clear them out. Thorak. Let's go ahead and get a uh, a buff on on these guys. Okay, it shouldn't be too much longer, I think, before we have army losses kick in. They've got to be in really bad shape, I would think. Although, I guess they do have... Yeah, they got more forces coming in. The Thane here. Let's get, let's get all you guys helping out with the Thane. Mr. Thane, I'm going to give you a 2. And then Tekton, I'm going to give you a 3 so that I can keep track of you. Okay, how are we looking here? Five seconds. We'll be able to do another explosion here. This is going to be good. Yep. Did a pretty good number on them. Okay, you guys, you know what, all of you on them, yeah, they're, they're going to start disintegrating here. Okay. Pretty, pretty soon now everybody's, there we go, it's, okay, wow. Well, not all of them, these guys are still hanging on by a thread. Now they're gone. Who's left? He's crumbling. Okay, one... Two, three, and you guys, and you guys. He's at minus 41. He's holding up pretty well for being at minus 41 leadership. Let's go ahead and watch him disintegrate here. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, obviously, we're going to have to finish finish the episode there. Um, I don't mind losing those Slayers. That's exactly what Slayers are good for. It looks like I probably lost a uh, another Quarreler unit. But if I just lost the one, I can live with that. Okay, so we didn't even lose the Slayers, but we're going to have to abandon them. We did lose the Quarrelers. That's unfortunate, but it is what it is. We lost some Settlement Garrison, which is absolutely not an issue whatsoever, and we lost no units in Tecton's army. But man, we are depleted. We could get 2,000 money and 146 Oath Gold, or we could d do this. We're going to take this, obviously. Well, at least now, we don't have to worry about uh, Cetra for a little while. Okay, so as this intern wraps up here, um, defeated Cetra, that's good. We'll definitely take all that. Unlocked another Regiment of Renown. The Regiments of Renown, that's really what I like to use them for, and I suspect a lot of other players feel the same way. They're basically emergency troops. Okay, Lost Halls Reclaimed in Labaris. That's fine. And, okay, that is obviously all that we have time for. This was quite an episode. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, as always, for your comments, and I will see you in the next episode.